What is up my friends? My name is Echo and today I have some uncommon Town Hall 10 attack strategies that I have to share with you. To share some of this greatness with you guys today, I'm over here in Three Strikes, part of the Circle of Clans, which is currently being revamped. More information coming on that very soon, and as you can see, we have some action going on right this moment. Before I get into any of these attacks, guys, focusing at Town Hall 10, remember, sub the channel, turn on notifications for that Daily Clash content. You're going to want to be here with me, guys. The effort is unreal. You should be hanging out while I'm here, so hit that sub button for your boy. Now, let's take a look right here at the first attack strategy that we're going to look at. And when we take a look at this right here, guys, we have 8 P.E.K.K.A. We have 10 Wizards, a Wall Wrecker. We have the Max Heroes, 1 Heal, 1 Rage, 7 Freeze Spells. What does this mean? What is this attack strategy, guys? We are looking at the Frozen P.E.K.K.A. attack strategy. Something that is quite dominant at Town Hall 10, especially when you're facing those bases with... The multi-target infernos. Those multi-target infernos don't do much damage to those P.E.K.K.A. So the P.E.K.K.A. can come through and dominate this base, which is what you're going to see. That's the first strategy of a handful that we're looking at today. Why don't we start it out right here and see exactly what goes on. Hydro from three strikes coming in on this base. As you can see, we have those P.E.K.K.A. coming in from the bottom of the base. They are spread wide with the Wizards behind. And then the uh, Wall Wrecker coming on in. Going to push straight into the core of the base. Taking out defenses. Taking out walls. Taking out whatever is in the way. Multi-Target Inferno is doing a little bit of work. But really not taking too much health out of anything right there. It goes down. The P.E.K.K.A. are leading the way. We have the King in there as well. Looks like a Lava Hound and one Balloon came out of that Clan Castle. That's not going to be too devastating. We should be okay. Notice as the record goes through the base, the P.E.K.K.A. are just going in as well, trashing what's in the center. And let me pause it for one second. Look at the outside of this base. Everything is funneled so nicely because a, I think it was two P.E.K.K.A., one on each side went and just funneled the base down so the Wrecker and all the troops could go straight through the core. Two Wizards left here. They can be used for cleanup later on in the attack. But that Wall Wrecker still pushing on through. Rage heal and well yeah the wrecker is deployed bowlers are coming out of that wall wrecker tearing up what's in the center of the base right there hollowing out the base now all we have left is a shell and the pekka because they are so strong will smash through that wall take out what's beyond the wall with the help of those bowlers and really just clean up the rest of the attack the rest of the base this is not the fastest attack strategy reason being you have some slow troops in there. Those P.E.K.K.A. are not fast, but they are deadly. They're tanky as well. So when you're attacking a Town Hall 10 base that doesn't have those tank killers, a.k.a. the uh, Inferno Towers set on single, you can go through and do a nice job with this. Now, why are people putting multi-target Infernos at Town Hall 10 again, like they did six months ago? The answer? Bat spells. People are trying to defend these drag bat attack strategies, which we're going to see one of in a little bit as well. And when they do that, they leave themselves vulnerable to other attacks. So the implementation of this bat spell, guys, really has opened up the game to other strategies that we may not have seen in a while. One being the frozen P.E.K.K.A. like we just saw Hydro bring us right here. Guys, if you're liking this video so far, throw a thumbs up on it. Show some love to the channel, to your boy, and help me on my road to 100,000 subscribers. We're getting close, guys. It shouldn't be too long from now unless if YouTube does a turnaround. Let's have our fingers crossed and hope that we can get there. Help me get to 100,000. Now... There's more attacks. Uh, this one here may even be more uncommon. It's a lot of fun, and we're going to see what Hammer has going on here. Let's pause it for a moment. Notice there are seven bat spells, so we are going with that bat spell composition. Two rage, one freeze. Maxed heroes, a stone slammer, three lava hounds, and 15 baby dragons. So, I mean, this attack, there is... It's just different. It's not one of those uh, baby back attacks where you have the kill squad going to the base and the back end uh, baby dragons clean things up. It's not that. Um, and it's it's not the Octa Baby because it doesn't have eight baby dragons. It has 15. So this is like a baby la. La baby. La bat baby. La bat baby. That sounds good. 
Let's just see what Hammer does in this one right here, guys. We're obviously going to have these Lava Hounds tanking the air defenses as they're all in the e western side of the base. The bat spells are probably going to be dropped in on top. And so you guys know, I have not previewed these. So that's why I'm talking this way. And um, yeah, this should be pretty cool. We got those suicide heroes coming in. Mo single target Inferno right there, notice. So the Frozen Pekka would not be good for this at this base. Queen coming in behind the king. They're going to take out at least one of those air defenses. Hopefully two. Let's... Oh my goodness. Is that queen going in? No, she turned. Whew, I was concerned there for a second. She walked herself around the base. Here come the lava hounds. Here comes the stone slammer. Queen goes down. And the baby dragons. They are not getting the room for that tantrum ability. They are going straight in behind the slammer. Behind the lava hounds. Bat spells being deployed up in the top right there. Taking out two air defenses. And going to hit up an expo and two cannons. Yeah, that's exactly what's going to go on. Look at all the baby dragons in the core of the base. One hanging out up here on the town hall. The rest pushing the center of the base. Not moving fast, I must say. But they are moving. Going on to that single target Inferno, which has kind of pestered us for a while. Walls are being opened as well. The queen goes down. Baby dragons are literally all on top of each other. That's pretty weird right there. But that's how it is. Balloons are now coming out of the Stone Slammer. They're being raged up. Max level balloons. We do have a freeze spell as well. Can we use that pretty soon? There it goes. Wizard Tower, Archer Tower, Inferno Tower, all frozen. And the balloons and babies can come on through and trash what's left in this base. This attack is cool. It's one that you don't really see. You may have never seen it before. Let me know in the comments below if you've ever seen this attack strategy before. And if you have... What's it called? Because I don't know, guys. And it may not have a name. And then maybe the... Uh, what, what did I call it before? The baby... I don't remember what I called it. Rewind back and you'll see. But whatever. It's a cool attack. 15 baby dragon attack strategy at Town Hall 10 with a stone slammer and three lava hounds and max heroes and bat spells. And you got this. And a uh, hammer feeling pretty good about pulling in something like this with an attack strategy that is just not the meta which I love, bringing you guys off meta attack strategies. But we're going to look at more. Those are my two unique attacks that we had, or the two uncommon attacks that we had from this war at Town Hall 10. But I want to show you more. So that was 11 and 15, and I'll tell you this. I have not previewed any others, so let's actually go and see what's done on 14. I would put money that this is going to be a drag bat just because there is so much drag bat happening in the wars right now at Town Halls 10 and 11. Let me know what you think. Are you with me? Is it going to be drag bat? Let's see what Knox has on this one. It's a drag bat. It sure is with two lava hounds though, a slammer, eight dragons, only two balloons, one baby dragon, seven bat spells, two rage, one freeze. King coming in from the west and the queen coming in from the east and allow me to take a sip from my PUBG mobile mug. Tastes good. That's coffee in there. Queen's doing a nice job. Her ability's being popped right there. She should be taking down that air defense. She did take down one of the... Um, no, maybe she's not going to. Is she going to get herself turned around and get that AD? Looks like she's not going to get the chance, guys. A few shots into the wizard tower. Here we go. Dragons coming in. Stone Slammer behind on the town hall. Only those two balloons pushing into the base. But that Stone Slammer, as we've said before, is basically a giant balloon with balloons within a giant balloon. Raging through, doing a nice job. Pushing those air defenses as well. Things seem to be pathing nicely, partially because of the beautiful funnel that Nox did on this attack. And partially because the dragons are smart on this attack. The bat spell's been used right there as well. Rage, freeze and bats coming on through is that slammer even gonna go down i mean uh it's gonna be close this air defense is targeting it pretty hard but uh, that air mine there we go balloons coming out cleaning up the rest of the base dragons taking out that multi-target inferno and the rest of this one is going to be in the bag what a beautiful attack uncommon no this one's not uncommon. We've seen this attack strategy many, many times lately. But this is proof, guys, because a lot of people in my comments are still questioning 
is the drag bat attack strategy dead or they're saying that it is dead it's not dead guys it's doing really really well especially at town halls 10 and town hall 11 the trick is getting them upgraded upgrade those bat spells level one bat spells not so op but when you get them upgraded they do a beautiful job as you saw in the example presented to you right here by Nox. But we're gonna four times through it. This war is currently still going on. We'll take a look at it right now as we get back to the next screen. And uh, and then we'll say goodbye. But as you can see, three strikes versus New Church, 20 hours left. So tons of time left, 55 to 38. Who knows what's going to happen in this war. But guys, today, that's been the video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed your stay here. Check out my raccoon hat. What do you think of that one? I just got a... It came through and sponsored me with some swag. Love the hat. Love the shirts. You'll see all of it on the channel over time. Remember to throw a thumbs up in the video if you enjoyed it. And remember, you can always find me over on Twitter, at Echo Through Me, pushing 7,000 followers. And again, here on YouTube on the road to 100,000 subscribers. Share the video, help me get there, help your clanmates be better attackers in war. I'll see all of you guys later on today. Until then, be good.